everyone. Um, today I want to show you how to start your garden. Start small. If you haven't done gardening before and you're not too familiar with it, I would start small. Find a spot in your backyard um, that gets uh, at least the full sun throughout the day. So right now I picked up uh, this area behind the driveway so I put up a chicken wire fence um, because we do get deer around here and I heard that they do eat your uh, vegetables so just for this, on the safe side I just went ahead and uh, with my husband's help um, he helped me put up the chicken uh, wire fence um, this kind of a material so um, first with the tomatoes I bought this garden fresh husky tomatoes these are big tomatoes um i went ahead and bought them um already uh grown up uh, grown a little bit in their own pot right there so i bought two just in case uh one doesn't make it so so far um so far they're doing pretty good um i have some tomatoes right there already you don't see and I have several uh, flowers um, blooming and this is the other pot it's the same thing so what I did I just on one side um, this is about uh, five feet in width so I just went ahead and started a little bit on the right hand side so I have a little bit of walkway over here um, so because I don't know how my garden's gonna do this year. So I just wanted to start small and then I'll figure it out by next summer and see if I wanna go ahead and widen, widen it. So on this side, I have the cilantro right there. It's gotten taller. I, I mean, I've used a lot of it already, but they grow so fast. So yeah, I'm afraid some of them is gonna be wasted, but yeah, so that's cilantro. Now I wanted, um, I was looking for scallion. They didn't have scallion. So I went ahead and bought the seed and hopefully it'll make it in the, in the summer or at least it'll grow for me to harvest it. So hopefully they'll make it. So this is from, this is actually from the seed itself. So I started that one and in this one i just threw a bunch of seeds in there hopefully um they'll make it so that's that and then next i have um you know sometimes when you have onions and it starts growing and uh, sprouting when you don't use it in time i went ahead and planted it and it looks like it's gonna grow so i'm not sure what's gonna happen with that one and I have zucchini. My zucchini is growing like a wildfire. It's already got um, the flowers on that. So pretty soon I'm gonna have zucchini and I think it's overpowering my basil. This is my basil right here, which um, I thought they were gonna die at first, but I don't know. I might need to cut it because um, my zucchini is overpowering them. So that's that. I got two uh, plants of zucchini. I have, I think, three or four basil, and they're looking pretty good. I have uh, mint right here. This is mint. And I also have sweet peas um, back here. This one, I think, needs to be in the vine. So I'm kind of supporting it right now as it grows. So I have my rosemary. Now I had to move my okra. Um, it was beside the, um, the cilantro, but then it was overpowering it. So I had to move it. So now it's uh, growing better because before it wasn't growing as fast. So that's that. My rosemary. I got red peppers right here. I had two plants of red pepper, I mean, uh, green peppers, sorry. So I have two. I didn't want to start too many. So I just want to start it, like, I just want to try a couple because uh, I don't know how they, they're going to grow. 
So, so far so good. These are my green peppers. Here's another plant of okra. And I, this is two cherry tomatoes. So I, I don't have very much luck growing tomatoes. So that's why I got the two big ones over there already. And I, this one actually, most of the plants, aside from the tomatoes, they were from the little plants that you buy at a Home Depot or um, Lowe's. So they started out small and I just, uh, you know, took care of it, watered it and everything. So, so far so good. Uh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing some flowers already on a tomato. Got some right there. And I have eggplants. Now eggplants are not that hard to grow. So I went ahead and planted six because eggplant doesn't grow or doesn't um, generate a lot of eggplants. So you need like several stalks or several uh, several of them to um, get a good amount of eggplants. So I went ahead and planted six. So see, uh, it's just curious how many eggplants I'm gonna harvest this summer. So that's that. And I went ahead and tried to plant pineapple. Now whenever you buy pineapple, uh, cut off the top part and not to um, cut it off where you have a little bit of the meat and plant it. Now so far, it looks like it's growing new leaves. So I don't know. We'll see. I mean, what's the worst gonna happen? It's gonna die or it's gonna survive. So we'll see, that, that's the first time I've planted pineapple. So we'll see. So that's my little garden. So again, you can choose how big your garden and you can choose what kind of vegetable you wanna plant. If you just wanna start with, uh, let's say tomatoes, tomatoes and some herbs. Herbs are pretty easy to grow. And so, so right now I just have the cilantro, uh, mint and rosemary. And I'm just waiting for my scallions right here. So hopefully they'll make it. So that's that. And I went ahead and um, um, like I said, used a chicken wire uh, to prevent the uh, animals from eating the vegetable. And so I have this supported because it was uh, leaning a little bit. So. That's fine. Um, so, I mean, right here, this is my backyard. I could decide to get a bigger yard if I wanted to, but um, this is pretty good right now. So right now it's um, satisfied for the way um, it's uh, working out. Um, so I still have plenty of room right here if I wanted to expand it to grow some more, but I'm gonna have to see what kind of uh, vegetables gonna be harvesting this summer and see if I want to plant the same plants for next year. So there you go. So I think when you want to start um, gardening, like I said, pick a spot where there's a lot of sun. A vegetable usually needs a lot of sun and, and start small, you know, and make sure you put some sort of fertilizers on your ground, especially if it's a new ground. So, and get some of that um, started to help the uh, I guess to help the vegetable grow um, faster so there you go so I went ahead and picked this area um, and that's it it's not very big but it looks big uh, compared to you know so I mean I'm not sure how long this is but yeah I mean I think it's pretty good and I'm excited to start harvesting I'm actually I actually started using this uh, e um eating the cilantro the basil and the mint i haven't used the rosemary yet but yeah so far so good now i can't wait for the s snow peas these are the snow peas right here so it's already blooming um a little bit so i'm kind of just helping it climb up like this one um because it needs to be in a vine so hopefully that one will there you go there's my little garden so it's not that hard if i can do it you guys can do it so you just basically have to find a spot 
where you want to grow uh, your vegetables. Uh, it starts small if you want, or you can go big. It's up to you. So there you go. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you like this video, um, please subscribe to the channel and help support the channel. And also like the video. So again, thank you so much. Bye-bye.